Good morning, everybody. Do you guys ever look at the clock? Well, of course you do. You look at the clock and it says 11, 11, and you're like, oh my God, that's a sign. Or you look at the clock and it's 4, 44. Oh my God, that's another sign. Or you look at the clock and it's 2, 22. Oh my God, that's another sign. So today we're talking about numbers of synchronicity. Numbers of synchronicity. Some of them, some call it angel numbers. Um, that's what we're talking about today. Everybody is on this new bandwagon. Oh my God, I see four numbers. I see three numbers in sync with each other. Oh my God, that's a sign from the universe. Oh my goodness. Don't believe the hype. Please don't believe the hype. Jump off the bandwagon. I saw much disregard A broken bottle top And a one-man soul So what happens if you don't see these numbers? If you don't see 1111? Does that mean that you're not in alignment? Um, I think it's really just a meaningful coincidence. Um, I think it means like maybe, oh, you're on the right track. Um, when I say by a meaning, meaningful coincidence is um, it's bound to happen for you to see angel numbers. It's bound to happen for you to see 1111. We're on our phones so much during the day that at some point we're going to see 1111 or at some point we're going to see 444 because we're on the phone just that much so that's why now it's such a coincidence for us to see those angel numbers or the numbers of synchronicity because we're on our mobile device so much um it's not only times that you see it on your mobile device you see it on a clock or you might see it on you know on a license plate or something of that nature but don't live by numbers of synchronicity because if you don't see those numbers it doesn't mean that you're not in alignment it doesn't mean that the universe is not showing you a sign um like i said angel numbers are just a meaningful coincidence um it is like the universe is trying to tell you something or it's just the universe has a sense of humor and it's just like okay you saw those numbers um um you know i i really can't explain it but just don't believe the hype y'all y'all don't live your life by angel numbers like oh my god if i don't see 11 11 then i'm not on the right track don't believe the hype um and i mean it's, it's cool to see angel numbers are you know numbers synchronized together synchronized but um if you don't it's not the end of the world um let me let me the, the reason i say this video is to say um we always we're always looking for something on the outside to show us a sign we're always looking for everything but within ourselves to show us a sign um so th it brings me to this next subject you can actually look for the sign within yourself you need to start looking for signs within yourself and stop depending on the outside to show you a sign because everything is within you um, and let me, let me, let me tell you this. And I challenge every one of you guys to try this. Okay. Um, you need to close your eyes, close your eyes, and you need to think of an object. The first time I did this, I didn't want to think of an object because I didn't believe, in my, but didn't believe in myself. And I was like, dang, it's going to be hard to think of an object. So I said, you know what? Let me just do numbers. Um, let me just think of some numbers. And the numbers that I thought of was 9842. I didn't want to do 1111 because that's so easy to see. 9842 is a number that you're not going to see on the clock because there's no 9884 clock. So 9842 was the numbers that I did that, uh, that I imagined in my head, okay? Um, I challenge everybody to do this. Just close your eyes, think of an image or think of the numbers, okay? If you do this, um, you focus on that number maybe for about five minutes with your eyes closed. Um, within maybe a week or two's time, that number is going to show itself. That object is going to show itself. Okay, so like I said, I did 9842. So let's just say I did this on a Monday. 9842, 9842. And um, 
I didn't I didn't see it anywhere. I kept like kept looking for it and I didn't see 9842. I just kept looking for it. So probably about by Thursday, I'm like, you know, I give up. You know, I'm not even gonna look for it no more. And I actually by Friday I forgot about it. That I even did the did the whole close my eyes thing. So um I go back to work on Tuesday and um I get on my forklift. I, I drive the forklift at work. I get on my forklift and I look down and my forklift number is 9842. I'm like, well, I'll be doggone. So it was really, really cool. And I was like, wow, this is really, really cool. So I'm like, okay, let me bring it up a notch. So I did it again. I closed my eyes and I imagined, this time I imagined an object. I, I imagined a bright yellow star, like a bright big yellow star. That's, that's what I imagined, a bright big yellow star. So this time it only took me three days. Um, and like I said, I did it and then I just forgot about it, let it go. Um, and I was traveling. I was traveling and on a billboard, I seen a big yellow star that said lucky stars. Um, I think it was for maybe a casino or, or something of that nature. But I just looked at it and I smiled and I laughed and I was like, yeah. So like I'm saying, what I'm telling you is the signs, you need to look for them in yourself. You have the same power that you give anybody else. Um, the power lies within you. Um, so there was this lady that did this as well. I heard this actually on, a, on, a, on another YouTube channel. Um, this lady did this. Um, and when she did it, she closed her eyes and she imagined a butterfly. Something that you don't usually see, something that's odd or something that's never really crosses your path. Um, and she had a garden and she used to work in her garden and she never seen a butterfly, like commonly, like a, a lot. So she was like a butterfly. Um, so she worked all day at home, she worked from home. No butterflies came. She was outside in her garden, no butterflies. She went to check the mail, no butterflies. So she dozed off and took a nap. Her husband brought, brought her son home from school about four or five o'clock. And when she woke up, her son was at the edge of her bed and showed her a picture and said, mommy, look what I drew in school today. And it was a butterfly. So you guys, it might seem really simple, like this doesn't work. You guys, like right now, as I shoot this video, look what time it is, 11, 11, 11, 11. I mean, a meaningful coincidence. So guys, it's just that simple. So it's all, the power is within you. You can do anything that you want to do as long as you imagine it and you believe in it. So, um, like with me, I never thought I can become sober until I thought I can become sober. Until I imagined it in my mind. Every day I imagine being sober. Every day I imagine to be sober, be sober, be sober. If you imagine it enough, it's going to happen. Um, so I just leave you guys with that today. And I challenge each and every one of you, just close your eyes and imagine an object. And I guarantee you within two weeks time that image will appear i guarantee you um so yeah guys the power lies within you you guys have to realize that stop looking for signs outside of yourself i mean they're cool to see yeah you're in alignment it's cool to see 11 11 don't get me wrong it is a really cool coincidence um it's a meaningful coincidence but y'all gotta jump off the jump off that bandwagon and normalize looking for signs within yourself Remember, y'all, stay sober, stay honest, and stay free. I'm sitting in this car, hot as hell. I don't want to turn the air on because then you guys can't hear me. But, um, yeah, so that just concludes my video today. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Jump off that bandwagon and look for the sign within you.